and the remnants of the old stone wall that had been built in 1955, I believe, uh, it had taken all the abuse it could take and it finally toppled over in that storm and the, uh, the waves were actually uh, coming across our front lawn uh, and actually hitting the house. We knew then that we really had to, had to do something soon. We uh, considered rebuilding a, a natural stone wall that had originally been here just for aesthetics reasons, but uh, when we hired an engineer to get uh, on with the process, uh, and he uh, stated that the uh, natural stone wall would not stand up to the conditions that were being presented on the lake. I saw this particular product, and when I looked at it, I said, wow, it doesn't look like what I've been looking for. It's a product that has a, a, a lot of features to it that uh, look more, more resembled stone, and uh, that was what we were looking for. We started uh, probably well, right over there by the, uh, the walkout, and uh, the first, first days we went that way with the wall, and uh, then two years ago, or last year, we come back and things from here, from here around for it. The wall has done great. I had some concerns about ice. Uh, when the ice came into the lakes in the, in the wintertime, she would uh, freeze up and we can get uh, up to a couple of feet of ice. And uh, my biggest concern was whether the wall would uh, be able to withstand the pressures that were going to be created. And uh, uh, I had a funny little story. One day I was sort of laying in on my couch and uh, there was a very loud crash. And I was thinking to myself, oh no, was that my wall going? So I uh, immediately got up and went outside. And actually what had happened, there was so much pressure built up that the actual ice surface uh, collapsed inward and it filled with water. Basically what it did, it couldn't expand anymore into the property because of the wall. It actually split the ice and it drove it to the bottom and it relieved itself. My fears were put to rest after that. There's another home down the lake that uh, that's sim has a similar situation. They, um, they're losing their shoreline and uh, so they came and looked at this wall about a month ago. Actually they're using the same uh, same uh, block, the ledge, uh, ledge stone for theirs and with a freestanding uh, cap on top. So it's, uh, and it's going to be a serpentine look to blend in with the natural surroundings also. I get lots of compliments from people who come by on the lake and they pull up and say, wow, I love your wall, I love your wall, who did it or where did you get it? And you know, and it's, it's great advertisement of its own.